All right, here we are with uh, Team Jamaica and Team St. Vincent the Grenadine. Welcome back to Twilon Park for the NACRA 7th Championship on Rogers TV. Here we are with the kickoff. Jamaica kicks off uh, to St. Vincent and the Grenadine. We're going to have a good game here. Both these teams had a hard time in their first few games. Be an opportunity to get uh, running. That's How it. How are you, Rob? I'm doing well, doing well. Last game of the day here. And Jamaica really looking to put a stamp on a win on this game on St. Vincent, who lost a tough game to the USA earlier. Well, Rob, don't speak too quickly. You never know. These uh, St. Vincent guys, uh, I'm sure, will have something to say about that. That's true. They want to bounce back yeah, nice off yeah. of that USA game. And this is only second game of the day for them. So yep, anything exactly. can happen. It's sevens, the beauty we, of sevens. We know that. We both have lived it. And uh, now we're watching it. But here we go. Oh, they're chasing. Is he going to make it? No. Big collision with Jamaica picking the ball up, looking for that try line, looking for support. Try. And referee. Well earned try for Jamaica. Really well earned try. They battled for this one. I like to see uh, St. Vincent fight like that. You know, that that's uh, good defense. You know, they tried hard. Uh, you know, we'll see. You know, it's uh, beginning of the game. Absolutely, Joe. Jamaica coming in as the favorite, of course. One-on-one, uh, -on -one, beating the Cayman Islands in a uh, tight game. Uh, and again, losing to the USA. But uh, having a good start here, moving the ball out wide. And lovely try by the Jamaican. You know, wait, the conversion has been converted. 7 nothing. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I'm speaking too quickly here. 5 nothing for Jamaica. And again, scoring underneath the post, one of those skills that we've been talking about all day long. Restarts and kicking, very important. Couldn't come down in a close game. Here they go. They go for a quick kick in the corner. There was nobody there for St. Vincent. Oh. Wow, kicking the ball was number three, Everton Richards. And in for the try, number 11, Ronaldo Wade. Yeah. Not enough, not enough focus on the restarts for uh, St. Vincent here. Here yep. we got the replay here. If you can describe, Rob, what you see. Yeah, a heads-up play by uh, Wade there. Seeing the open space, little communication. And, uh, sorry, Ronaldo Wade there picking the ball up and in for a relatively easy try. Yeah. So far, uh, you've called it. Two tries for Jamaica. So this is the last game of the day, Rob. And uh, we've actually had a pretty good day of rugby, I'd say. Oh, a little wet this morning, but... Absolutely, absolutely. Wonderful day of rugby. Very hot. It's cooled down now, which is kind of nice. Uh, last day, last game of the day, rather. Uh, but everyone putting it all, the men and the women. Yeah. And, of course, both Canadian teams doing very well. Knock on here by St. Vincent and Grenadine. So Jamaica right now just trying to keep ball possession, looking for their opening, weather strike. Coming back on the blind side here, they have an overlap, but number nine chooses to go the other way. A lot of individual talent in this Jamaican side. You know, if they get away, they're hard to catch, but, oh, that was almost good behind the back pass here. And we're sort of seeing that as a, as a common theme. A lot of great athletes, a lot of speed, and if they just have that one player who can be the organizer, yeah. structure things out there, teams do very very well yeah that's what we've watched i've seen a lot on the circuit of you know a, a lot of team has their their little magician like we used to see Sarevi do and control all exactly. the fijian boys you know and then the, the talent around him you know makes it for a great side but so far i think you know i've heard that there are some but i don't think today they were really able to show their entire stuff mm -hmm. so here these types of game is a great place to uh to see who who comes out on top you know like i said earlier both these teams didn't have much ball in their pri previous games so uh this is an opportunity for them to show what they have absolutely and jamaica is going to be counting on their number nine oshin eddie that's right he's their playmaker he's the one who needs to be that connecting player who organizes the boys out there all right let's see the scrum here pushing early and again we've talked about this all the players being getting used to that new, new set call. Advantage being played to Jamaica. Jamaica. Little sloppy play. Yeah. Not a knock on. 
All right. Make the ball do the work, as they say. That's right. Yeah, Jamaica looking for their, their holes at this time. Moving the ball around, and that's fine, as long as you keep possession. Nice little break right down the middle. It's big number one, Andrew Fong. And he Saint, ain't being touched. St. Vincent sitting a bit flat-footed, you know, just... They don't seem to have the energy right now. I don't know if it's because of the, the heat, I think. You see the replay here? Yeah, we have the replay. Yeah, straight down the gap. Yeah, you could have drove a truck through that gap. That's a big one. And that's, again, Andrew Fong, number one, coming back from a, a bad break injury a few years ago. Good to see him back out there. Yeah. Top form. Like I was saying, maybe because of the weather, these, some of these guys are... Uh, but you'd think in their country, they, uh, they, they, they deal with this every day, you know, this type of weather, the heat, the humidity. We've tra I've, I've traveled and, and I, uh, as a Canadian boy, I've uh, had a lot of issues with weather and uh, keeping hydrated on these tournaments. Yeah, we talked to the Canadian players earlier and even they were feeling it. They yeah. played in those hot places, but both teams got a lot to play for. So there can't be any excuses. There can't be any excuses from St. Vincent. Uh, we do know that they are the newest member. Um, yep in the uh, Caribbean area. The 1996 they is the, uh, was founded That's right. by so an Englishman. So that's them trying to, they're still trying to get organized. Uh, great to see them at an international tournament though. A nice little kick so play by uh, their number nine setup plan. Be the second victory for uh, Jamaica today. They beat the Cayman Islands 17-0. Uh, uh, no, I'm sorry about that. Uh, that was the women's team. A lovely little switch on the end. Again, we'll see uh, the play here. Ronaldo Wade seems to be their finisher uh, in this game. Yeah. Ends it off with a nice dive. Right on. So if you're St. Vincent, uh, Freddie, what do you what do you what? do when you're in this position when you're you're down 24 nothing and you know last game of the day. <laughs> You're asking me a very tough question right there, Rob. I, uh, it's pretty difficult at this point morally to try to pull something out of the hat here. But, but I guess try would be a, a good consolation. Yeah, something. definitely. It would be a confidence booster, but this type of, of rugby, unorganized, it seems quite unorganized. You know, just there's another try. I'm not sure what the referee is saying here. Is that a try for Jamaica? Yeah, try for Jamaica. On the, on the dead ball line, just right before the dead ball line. So Jamaica just playing a real simple simple rugby, and there we see some of the Some Jamaican of the boys, boys getting ready to come on. and Getting warmed up. We'll watch the replay here. Add to the big happened. score. And there there's you the go. touchdown right there. Already seven minutes, Rob. Wow, this goes quickly. Um, you asked me the question, what does St. Vincent have to do here to, to pull off, gain a little bit of respect in this tournament? I think they, uh, you know, I, like I said, I think they're, they're very flat-footed. They, uh, they don't seem to be uh, enthusiastic about playing at this moment. I don't know why, I just, uh, we've seen some better matches against closer teams today and... Uh, and of course, the Jamaican, give. Jamaica their credit, they are very yep. quick, they yep. are very fast. Absolutely. Well, li listen in here. Do what you can do, but when you're not spreading the ball wide and then do it. All right? So we'll do something like that. No, you just no, listen, man. No, no, no. 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 No, no, Excellent game, Excellent game. More juice. Keep it tight. More juice. Keep it tight. We need a point. It's not good. Hold on, hold on. Come 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 on. Still yeah. more on the tank, and, and we'll see how the yeah. second half they might break this wide open. It'll be a confidence booster for, for tomorrow for them, you know. At least you go go away with a win, and since obviously they, you know, they're in a smaller pool. You know, we'll, we'll we'll see actually if tomorrow that matters. You know, USA being in a three-team pool, we'll see if there's an advantage to it. You know, uh, I'm curious to yeah. see if uh, if that'll make play into effect later in the in later games. 
I know that actually some of the USA boys are banged up and uh, some Canada boys are also, so. And that's part of the game, it's isn't part it? of the game. Two day tournament, takes a tear and wear on the body. We'll see how these teams recover and get back Here out of the Here we go. So Jamaica in their own end. Their playmaker, number nine, yeah. Eddie, trying to break them open and does so successfully. That's some sheer speed right there, you know, just hit the gap. And, and he can put on the brakes now and cruise in. Under the post. Lovely individual effort. So you, know, you want to maybe take the time to thank the sponsors too. Oh, we'll watch the replay. Yeah, straight through the gap, just untouched. Yeah, those are the best tries you can be scoring here, you know. Untouched, no pain. Wonderful display of athleticism by Eddie. Go to player. It'd be nice to see uh, St. Vincent here a little bit more organized on offense and defense. See that Jamaica's breaking them open inside. I'd like to see them tighten up that defense. And uh, if Jamaica is going to score, as we say, let them score on the outside where they need to earn it, right? Yeah, that, that, that's a strategy. We both know that. You know, that's why you, you're always fighting for something, you know, uh, in these games. You don't want to give them seven points under the post. You want to keep the points down as as much as possible so scoring in the in the corners it makes like, it difficult for conversion that's right in these closed games it could be uh, the difference right in the, these later games and in the closed games forward pass by jamaica st vincent scrum deep in their own end they don't really have the option to kick here do they they're gonna have to keep the ball alive if they want to get that consolation try as we talked about you see some of the boys you know uh, fitness level walking around you know, those are the things that to be working on if you're St. Vincent for future tournaments. One of those things about yep. Game of Sevens, fitness being everything. That's actually, we both know, the training is supposed to be harder than the game. So, uh, you know, you, you should be ready for three, four, five games in a weekend. If, if you make in the final, we both know that uh, the minutes also move to, from seven to ten minutes. So, you know, you, you need to have trained as harder. And, you know, that's the philosophy in sports. You train harder than what you're going to actually be living. So, uh, and the opportunity for experience. So, St. Vincent is doing their training at the moment, uh, but they're on the wrong side of the, of the score right here. They're just... So, a little bit of a scrappy play. Yeah. Looks like there's going to be a knock-on from Jamaica, scrum St. Vincent, will reset. See if they can get that clean ball out. It's not easy, though, getting a clean ball out of a seven scrum sometimes. I'd be it? happy to see uh, St. Vincent score a try. You know, it'd be a... Uh... And I think that's what the fans want. Yeah. Absolutely. It's been a long day, eh, Rob? Even for us. It's been a long day. Hot out here. There we go. There we go. Saint Come Vincent. on. St. Vincent moving the ball nicely right now. Looking to suck in two players and pop it off for an overlap Great nice tackle. tackle by number four for jamaica odell he seems to be all over the place yeah, jamaicans have something to play for they're uh, they came in this game they, they knew exactly what the job was and uh they're uh, accomplishing that we'll see the replay here we'll see a nice couple big hits by jamaica good defense number 11 nice offload for saint vincent that's nso lewis unfortunately knock on as the ball comes out and if you're going to score that try or win that game keeping ball possession really is key in sevens because we're already at 11 minutes yep. time goes, goes so quickly, quickly so quickly it doesn't seem like it when you're in the game but when uh we're announcing like this these games are flying by that's number five for jamaica orlando jones juking passing the ball off number seven yuria martin it's nice to see them move the ball around No man is faster than the ball. Right now we will watch that. Oh, yeah. lovely break. That was a beautiful Jamaica. pass. A little pop pass, hitting the gap. Another try under the post for Jamaica. And one thing that St. Vincent can potentially work on in the future is bringing that defense that's on the backside of the ball up because this is how Jamaica is exposed, exposing St. Vincent at the moment. He cruises in for a try. Any opportunity also is good to, to save some energy. So if nobody's chasing, we've, I've actually seen people walking into the, you can actually get a penalty for that now, you know? You uh, can't take it, too much yeah, time, right? right? It's still a sport, that's it. 
when we I first started playing, people were literally walking it out from uh, 10, 15 meters out if nobody was chasing. Now I know that the, there are rulings that you can't just walk it in if, you know, so that's some little changes that make the game a little faster, a little more exciting. We want to see guys playing with the ball. Should make a restart in the middle. Referee says play on. Yep. St. Vincent. St. Vincent securing the ball right now in the middle of the field, assessing out the options. Number 18, Jillian Combs. St. Vincent, nice little break. Oh, pulled the hair here. Pull, pulled the dreads. There, a bit of hair pulling. No one wants to see that. St. Vincent need to keep possession here. Oh, referee's bringing it back. Good call, good eyes, right on the spot, referee. Yeah, yeah definitely good refereeing here. Now let's watch the replay. Yeah. And do you think that's deliberate Freddie or just kind of got him in a bad spot there for behind? Well, I think, you know, there's a lot of hair there. There's you know, a lot so of hair. I would like to think that it was not purposely done. Yeah. St. Vincent moving the ball out wide. And here's their break man, number 11. Lovely step by Anison Lewis and in for that consolation try. I'm very happy to see that. And the crowd's happy. Yeah, it was Vincent's a nice happy. try too. When, uh, you know, some good running, a couple of side steps. There we go, we'll see a nice replay. Breaks the tackle, side step. Two fantastic steps. Yeah, Ten and reaches out. Lewis. Yeah, we heard the crowd too. They're happy for St. Vincent. Like we said, you know, crowd always likes an underdog and uh, whether they're scoring a try against six or seven, it doesn't matter. We like to see teams score. They're allowed to have a bit of fun too, you know? Yeah, Unsuccessful conversion. Well, 15 seconds away from the first day being over here at uh, Twin Elm Park. It was a great tournament. Obviously, tomorrow is going to get a little more serious. We're going to have some matchups that are more equal. Yeah, you saw both Canada and USA. A lot of substitutions, wanting to keep the teams fresh, yeah. keep them hydrated, and it's all in preparation for tomorrow. Yep. They're probably what I've been looking at, pretty much the two teams that have been playing that way. Otherwise, we've been seeing pretty much the core teams and the other sides playing their top side every time. So, Jamaica moving the ball out wide, Some looking to stretch the defense. Yep. St. Vincent, good side stepping. So, uh, high tackle. Yeah. Yep, you bet. Referee not happy with the tackle. That's also what happens, you know, when guys get frustrated all of a sudden, and you know, they start having uh, some cheap shots and. That's you know, that's what we want to keep out of the game, you know. it's We see that in hockey too, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Six nothing, all of a sudden yeah, you sing the goons and we don't want to see that in rugby. I see the replay of the try here. Jamaica just opening it up wide open now, scoring tries at will. That's a number seven, that's Yuri some, Martin. That's what we see often, you know, a guy going through the tackle, his hands free and a little pop pass.